Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Darlene. Come on in and sit down and get yourself a cup of tea or coffee or a glass of wine or whatever you're doing out there. Hope everybody's wonderful and enjoying the ramp up to Christmas. We're four days away as I'm recording this down here in the deep south and it is a bit chilly. It is. So we're uh, almost there y'all, almost there. I'm debating about, one second, Okay, I, I was debating about pulling any tarot cards and I wanted to listen to that um, internally to see what they're telling me. <laughs> um, and I will get started with your re reading just in one second here. Just wanted to thank everybody that has watched and has subscribed to my channel. I'm just getting started here on YouTube, so all of that really, really matters. Even if you if you hit that like button, uh, it might not be your relative or your loved one, but maybe next time it will be. And uh, also subscribe. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to go live. So hit that notification bell, and you will be notified when that happens. Um, and what else? I think that's pretty much it. I am trying to do three readings a week now. I didn't get that third one done this week, but it's not over yet. The week is not over. I'm trying to do uh, Deceased Loved Ones, which I release typically on Saturdays. I do a Twin Flame reading on Sundays, and then somewhere in the middle of the week, uh, I'll try to get one more, usually a Scorpio reading out. So if the, any of those other uh, things appeal to you, check out my playlist, and we can um, get on with your reading now. I got that out of the way. So this is a Christmas message for some lucky mama out there. I'm bringing through two young men, youngish men, um, and they're they're so cute and so sweet together. And I say cute; they're not teenagers, but they're um, they're older than that. You know, twenty five ish, thirty something like that, maybe uh, t twenty to thirty. I don't know, but. They came together uh, at, like arm over arm with each other like this. And they came through saying, telling me they were giving me the feeling rather, let me re restate that, that they are brothers. They were tight like brothers and they were, they were very, very close. Now, I'm not sure if they mean biological brothers or if they could have been cousins and just grew up together and were like brothers or they were best friends like brothers. I'm not certain about that. And I always tell y'all, if I don't know, I don't know. You know. I'm the first one to admit that. But they're, they're coming through in uh, both of them in uh, a military uniform, like military fatigues, like army fatigues. And I get the feeling that these young men, so they could have been gone for quite some time. I'm not saying this was recent, but I got the feeling that they both died in some kind of a conflict or as a result of an, some kind of a conflict in the world, wherever that may be. And they're coming through to say Merry Christmas to Mama and the reason they're coming through is because apparently, uh, so you, the viewer I'm speaking with, have somewhat recently, not necessarily, when I say recent, that could have been a year ago. It could have been sooner. Um, but, I, I, and I'll tell you why in a minute, why, why I think that it's no more than a year. Um, you have recently lost either this I feel like was your husband if not it could have been your brother but a, a male about your age that you were very very close to and the reason that they are calling him pops so this could have been your children and your husband it could be it could also be like I said your son and his best friend your husband, your brother. I, I wish I could be clear on that for you. I apologize that I'm not. I know that's vague and I don't like being vague, but I do trust in spirit. I trust that spirit gets these messages to who needs to hear them and that whatever I say will trigger that whatever memory in you that you will know this is your family, your loved ones. So if I didn't have faith in that, I wouldn't be here doing these readings. 
Um, now, they are saying they have pops. That's the message, the whole message they came through today was to tell you ma. They, they used to call you ma. They didn't call you mom or mama. They called you ma, like M-A or M-A-W. And they're coming through and saying, ma, look, we brought you a Christmas present. We have pops with us. We've got pops here. Now, the reason I, I want to refer back um, to something I said earlier, the reason I said I, I can't really get a whole lot of information on this older man, he's, oh boy, this is going to struggle to tell you, to describe what I'm feeling here. I feel that it takes a while. Me. Other mediums may something, say something different, but me. Um, and you've heard me, for those of you who've been here, you've heard me talk about this before. When a soul crosses over and they're newly crossed over, it takes a while. There's a transition period for them that they have to go through and kind of learn how to operate in that world, so to speak. I don't know. Um, but it takes them a while to... This is not, this is like, like a, the opposite word I want to use, but I was going to say coalesce, but over there, like to fully be able to communicate to me, it's like they, um, they have to have a certain level of presence in that world. I wish I had better words to describe this. And this person, this male, elder male coming through doesn't feel fully there yet. And so, but not in a bad way, not like he's trapped or had any kind of trauma, not like that at all. I think he died of a, an illness, old age, or some kind of illness that, you know, would be common to his age. And so I feel like um, they're bringing him through because they've been there much longer, and, but they know they've connected with him now on the other side. And I always do that because I always feel them on my left side. Um, and so, I can't get a clear picture of him, but I have the clearer picture of these two young gentlemen. So it's just that simple. They're coming through to say Merry Christmas to Ma and tell you they've got paws over there. They've got pops. That's what they called him, pops on the other side, and that he's doing great and to not worry. Now, they told me another little story that I'll share about when they were growing up, so you'll know this is your, your family. Um, this is somewhere where it's cold and it snows. So wherever y'all lived up north, I presume, I'm here in the United States, but could have been anywhere in the world, but wherever it was cold. And um, they're showing me them when they were a little bit younger and they would have to go out and shovel the snow, you know, to get the driveway cleared or the sidewalk or whatever. And they were saying that they used to, instead of like taking turns like would be a normal thing, they're saying they used to flip a coin for it, but one of them switched or had a trick coin. <laughs> and so he would win an awful lot of the time so he didn't have to shovel the snow. And it took quite a long time for the other one to figure that out, that they, he had a trick coin, so when he flipped it, it would always land on the same whatever side. And so that, but then later that became a joke and they, of course, joked about it and it was fine. and. It was just a laugh for them at, later down the road. But that was really, um, they're just bringing that through. So you'll, you'll rem will remember that story if this was your family and these were your young men in your life. You'll remember that. So, and I apologize, I think I forgot to mute my phone, so I'm sorry if it's dinging in the background there. Um, anything else? Yeah, speaking of sons, that's my son dinging through on the messages. Um, give me one second, I'm listening. Yeah, they're talking about a dog. Something about a dog. I think you wouldn't let them get a dog when they were younger. Or one of these boys, or both of them. And maybe it was because it was too difficult where, where you live because of the climate, that you know, the winter and having dogs is difficult I'm sure but they're talking about that because apparently you have recently gotten a dog and they're teasing you about it oh yeah we couldn't have a dog but now you've got a dog <laughs> and so they're teasing you about that I, I don't know um, 
Yeah, so that's all. That's all they're giving me about that. Is, is there anything else? Nope, that's interesting. I mean, excuse me. Okay, sorry, I'm talking to myself. Um, they're just saying something like, Don't, I, I wanted to get this right. Don't forget to leave the plate out, plate of cookies out for Santa. I guess that's what y'all did when you were, I know I did when I was little. We always put the cookies and whatever up on the mantle um, for Santa on Christmas Eve, so maybe y'all did that too. Well, that's it. They're pulling the energy back, but they just want you to know that uh, Pops is there. They're all fine. They're all not to worry that they, they love you. They're checking in on you and wishing you a very Merry Christmas. So for some mama out there, I hope you get this message um, and get it, you know, around Christmas time. That would be the sweetest little gift, wouldn't it? I hope, I hope you do. Okay, thank you guys. That's all I got for you today. Um, please hit that like button on your way out and subscribe if you'd like to potentially hear from your loved one. I might be bringing them through any day now. Who knows? I don't know who's going to come through. I'm not in charge of that. But okay, thank you all so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if I don't talk to you, have a very Merry Christmas. All right, bye-bye.